Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Explained, the show where we break down the tech in the gear that you use. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Gilson's Butter Pad. What is it? How does it work? And do you need it? Newsflash, you do not need it. The butter pad of a Gilson snowboard is part of their soft edge technology. The soft edge technology is the step up from the edge up onto the base, basically the butter pad, which is the center of the board for their 3D shaping. So it's thicker, it sticks out further than the actual core at the edge. It's the center section that has contact with the snow. That's it. It's this bullshit 3D shaping that they did that takes away your edge control. So now you've got this giant immense pad with this thinner edge that doesn't grip. And then you got this weird down bevel in the middle of your base before you hit the actual edge. It's, it's crap. It's crap technology that's a marketing gimmick. It doesn't fucking work. You lose edge control. That's it. I suppose if you were riding nothing but like slush and pond skims and you needed to lose that contact from your edge, it might be a little bit better. But at the end of the day, it's not. It's nothing special. It's fucking heinously garbage. You can't tune this shit because if you get a core shot or a gouge on the edge and you fill it, you have to hand file it. Sure, you could grind the center section, which is the butter pad, but the edge of the butter pad where it bevels down, you're fucked. It's garbage. It's straight trash. You don't need this. I mean, why are you trying to lose edge control on your snowboard? Something you want edge control on. You're just trying to swivel around and not have any grip. Okay. I guess that's what you want. Sounds like it's made for a bunch of people that snowboard two days a year. People that get shit for free and think they're sponsored because otherwise no self-respecting snowboarder in the right mind would want this trash. This is garbage. 3D shaping. It ruins the actual way a snowboard is supposed to ride. But then again, I wouldn't expect anything from a company called Gilson. Do you need it? If you haven't gathered by now, you don't need it. It's trash. It's straight pieces of shit. If you do think you need this, just you're disowned. Just leave snowboarding now. Go ride their crappy ass skis. Did you learn what Gilson's butter pad technology is? Good, because you probably learned you don't fucking need it. Because if you think you need it, there's no hope for you. I don't even know why you're watching this channel. Get out of here. You're, you're not welcome. Just because we both ride snowboards does not mean we will be friends. You, you leave. Anyways, if you're new here and you're still thinking you need to stick around, why don't you subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want us to do more videos like this, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here. I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.